All right, got a little bit of recording going on. Going to go ahead and do kind of a quick video on various shift throws on this. This is a stock um, GTS T50 um, shifter assembly. No new bushings, nothing else right there. You can kind of see on the throw, and this is just going to be a difference. Just a quick showing of you know what's the possibility of how well the throw is on the TRD shifter for people who may find one for sale, want to go for it and check it out. Again, it's going to go off feel. Um, honestly, stock feels good, and I bet you when you put good bushings in here, it's phenomenal. So, and with this uh, nice little uh, metal um, shifter knob from Heist Tech by Alex Heist out in North Dakota. Does good work, makes cool stuff, support his wares. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll start loosening that up. Quick, take the stuff off. It, again, it may have some um, variances. I had it fairly tight, hand tight, not so much um, bolted down. So your mileage may vary when it comes to it. Um, as I'm doing this, I got my um, GT. Uh, fuck my TRD shifter from a gentleman offline who's had it and he did a really good job upselling it you know trying to get a buyer which is kind of cool and it's kind of a neat thing really just kind of neat little parts that were available for a time for our cars even though this son of a whore is not running and I don't know what else to do aside from a blood sacrifice and if you can look at my finger I've already done that once before I don't feel like doing that again I probably should have done it to my own car, not my friend's 86, because his is doing phenomenally, where mine is still sitting on jack stands waiting a fuel pump. But that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna have to run out to the truck and get this. This is gonna be a while actually posting a video. Might do a quick walk around after I do it, just to give a little update and all that for people that's inter interested in seeing me talk, which is not many. I do need to get like a little the little bezel. I'm hoping I can find one. I need to see if I got that in my little stash I got from that nice gentleman, Tyler Flynn. Um, okay, here it is out. The bushings on the bottom actually wasn't that bad. Gave it a little dollop of oil, nothing major. We'll do a quick side by side. If anybody has a 1985 or 1986 uh, wiring manual for my hatch, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, I'm gonna put this down on the ground. You can see it with the new shifter. I'm gonna run out to my truck real quick. I only got like 15 minutes when it comes to this video recording. I'm gonna have to delete it. This is the new truck. Some quirks, but nothing really major. Here's the shifter. Good old TRD. Uh, straight off, aside from looking at, you know, the little TRD symbols and everything else. Nothing really different, aside from a slimmer, um, shifting point. I'm try to get it kind of even. So you can compare it to side by side. Looks like it's got a little bit of a height difference. We'll find out more in a second. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move these two. This uh, shifter assembly is going to a gentleman that I'm trading some parts for. He needed it for his. I had one from an SR5 T50, but he wanted one from GTS. They're the same. So, I figured I'd just take one out of my car now that I got this one in. All right. Now to swap things over. I'm hoping we'll get in time to get some bushings, clean up some of the stuff, and get the gasket. And for the second, I'm not going to have the uh, rubber boot. I need to find another rubber boot assembly. Okay, come on. Oh, this is hard kind of doing one-handed and half-ass recording. There we go. Just had to get it just right. Fits in like it should. And if I recall correctly, these are 12 millimeter bolts. I'll look for my 12 mil socket so I can confirm or deny the existence. That's in. Like I said, this is just a simple mock-up. I'm not looking to give some scientific explanation if this is gonna get you faster on the downhill 
or is going to get you women. This is just a quick half-assed video of showing a little bit of a difference if you're interested. And if you're not interested, I don't know why the crap you're looking at my stuff, stalker. Pound signed attempt at humor. Okay, that one's in. May tighten it up just to see a little bit of difference, but I'm not really too worried about it. Really like to get that rubber boot assembly and put it over here. Just I don't know, cleans up everything. <clears throat> a little bit of movement, but just for sake of argument, I'll keep it just finger tight instead of tightening it down. Pretty sure there's always going to be a little bit of a discrepancy. This is without the uh, shift nozzle. Shift nozzle. Uh, shifter. Um, one thing too, you can see on the short shifters, it kind of has a tendency more going towards the right for the driver side for the Japanoland people. So if you're one of those guys that digs the JDM life, well, this thing's it. Just seeing right now, it's definitely got a shorter throw, obviously, for being a short throw shifter. Key things like going from the two to third. I mean, this reminds me of the Hurst shifter I had in my Ranger right over there. And I dig that even though the truck may put out every bit of 25 horsepower, I'm going to put this shifter knob on. Um, I know T3 makes a short shifter that is pretty good and is actually a shorter throw than the TRD package. And it doesn't have the kind of right kick out. It doesn't seem like it's a major issue just feeling right there. I'm trying to, once again, doing stuff with one hand that sucks. That's why I need to wear like a GoPro or have some kind of professional recording crap. But all my money's been spent on Corolla and medical bills. So, where's the fun in that? Okay, glad I made that fall off. Quick shout out, if anybody knows where to find a nice set of Recaro seats, SRDs preferably, or the old um, um, mesh headrest ones, those would be really cool. Go ahead and go like that. Quick spin on the knob. I'd love to figure out this whole car. I want to get this thing driving before the summer. That was my goal last year. It didn't really work out that well. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, with the shift knob on, definitely see we're in neutral. And it does have that kick out to the right. But honestly, not that bad. I just I don't think it's bad at all. Stock height on the um, lever. Maybe it can go a little bit lower. Just for sake of kind of rough eyeballing. Same about same roundabout height. Um, oh yeah. I'll try to get a good video of the throw. You definitely tell it's a shorter throw. Kind of not more notchy. I've heard it does have a little bit more noise, but I'm hoping with a good set of uh, bushings, like maybe the brass bushing and probably some Delrin, it'll be um, a little bit better. But even with the stock bushing on there and however old it is, it's it feels awesome. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be excited to use it. For that reason, I'm gonna have to see about getting one of them uh, pads to kind of support it right here. But oh yeah. Um, First impressions, don't know how it's going to be when I drive it. I definitely recommend it just sitting here. You can tell, definitely, even with my crappy video, the throws shorten. Probably the only complaint is the fact it's got that kick out to the right and might mess with people. But if you just, you know, check like you usually do, you're going to be fine. And you get that ultra legit JDMness that some people are into. Uh, thanks for watching this crappy video. Um, quick walk around on my hatch. I know it's kind of a vertical video, sue me, sorry. Will sell soul for fuel pump, Denso fuel pump. Some Tokiko Blue rear shocks. And Swahili magic to get my car working so I can drive it and daily it. Because I might have to sell old blue over there may sell a little red, which I really don't want to, because Big Red over there drinks gas. But thank you for watching. Um, hope it's been somewhat informative.